Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're out in this beautiful planet of ours. This is Mark Lanehart, the Intuitive Prospector, back for another Monday morning, Metaphysical Mocha Monday with Mark here on Ohm Times Magazine. I hope that you had a fabulous weekend. Thank you so much for joining me uh, this morning. Uh, one of the requirements for Metaphysical Mocha Mondays is to grab something that makes you happy as far as a tea, as far as coffee, as far as a protein shake, uh, as far as just uh, even just basic water. So my name is Mark Lanehart, the Intuitive Prospector. I'm here in Seattle, Washington, the beautiful Pacific Northwest. And again, just want to thank you so much for being here uh, this morning. We're going to be talking uh, about a few different topics. I'm going to give you the crystal of the week. Uh, which is a peach moonstone. Going to be giving you the numerology number of the week, which is environment. And I'm also going to be giving you a uh, animal totem, uh, <clears throat> spirit animal for the week, which is the beaver. So, and I'll give you messages for all those. Want to let you know that um, I also have the live Q and A after show. So I'm turn. I'm just going to turn off all of the wonderful spiritual prospectors that are joining me right now. Thank you so much uh, for joining me. Um, I'm going to let you know that I also have my um, Q&A after show directly after uh, the live show here on Ohm Times Magazine. And you'll just head over to um, the Intuitive Prospector page. That's my business page. And from there, uh, we can have a direct Q&A questions, answers on today's topic, and also I'll be doing free readings based on, uh, I try to, I'm going to try to tie the free readings into the topic of um, what we're talking about today, but sometimes, you know, it, it could be mediumship, it could be just spirituality, um, just, it really depends. But today's topic um, I want to talk about is community is peace, competition is chaos. And over the weekend, had a lot of interactions with uh, community, uh, the community of nature, um, and also just uh, people of just you know strangers, just saying hi and and having you know just a, a really um, inspiring conversation. So um, today's topic is community is peace, competition is chaos, and I'll get a little bit more into that as we proceed. We're going to go for the next half hour, so let me uh, get a quick. Drinking my tea out of my uh, my cool Death Star mug from Star Wars, um, and then also uh, in the description field, guys, if you like the video, if you like the work we're doing here on Ohm Times Magazine, uh, please join me over on the Ohm Times Institute or Learn It Live platform. The links are in uh, the description field down below here. Uh, I've got my spiritual ABCs uh, summer courses throughout the summer. So spiritual uh, ABCs level one, which focused in on awareness and attunement. Uh, you can get a 10% uh, prospecting discount code uh, until September 30th. And then level two, uh, you can um, take the courses however you want. Level two uh, focuses on, on the B's of spiritual ABC's, which is breathing and spiritual balance. And then on August 24th of this month, um, well, I guess next month, I guess it's the last day of July, I will be doing spiritual ABC's level three. And that's going to be focused in on consciousness and connecting. Connecting to spirit, connecting to self, connecting to nature. Um, so it's it's a lot of fun. It's my summer courses, Spiritual ABCs, Level 1, 2, and 3. There's 10% uh, uh, prospecting discount codes on all three in the description field of this video. So feel free to sub subscribe. Click on the links. Uh, they'll take you right to the Ohm Times Institute. Lots of fun classes. I also have my weekly spiritual development course if you're interested in developing your spiritual path, your psychic uh, abilities, your mediumship abilities. Uh, it's something that's it's constantly uh, ongoing. Uh, so check us out on the uh, Ohm Times Institute. You can also catch me every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern over on the internet uh, for Ohm Times on Ohm Times Radio, which is Inspired Living Radio with Mark and Kim. We have uh, amazing topics, wonderful guests, a lot of fun. We had open phone lines last week. It was a lot of fun. I got to talk to some of our inspired listeners all around the world. So um, post your questions here as well. Um, and... Uh, I will come back after my Q&A over on the Intuitive Prospector page at 8.30 uh, a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 11.30 Eastern, um, and then answer your questions as well. So again, hope you had a great weekend. Thank you so much for joining me this, uh, this Monday morning. want to just take a second to get into our message, and today's message is community is peace, 
competition is chaos. So I just want you to take a quick second, just uh, find find a place just to just take a, a quick second. Hopefully you're, you're not driving in the car. Or we have new laws in, in Washington State, hands-free now. You can't even eat, can't even drink, you'll get a ticket, no texting on the phone. So hopefully you're in a place that's not going to distract you. But just take a second and, you know, place both feet on the ground. Find your peace. That's what we're all looking for. We're looking, we're all in search of peace. We're all in search of joy and happiness. And we want to start coming closer to the behaviors that actually open peace and joy and happiness. And one of the ways that you can do that is through the power of meditation, through mindfulness, through connecting to self, being out in nature, and finding your community, or what I like to say is your soul tribe. So take in a deep breath. And what I want you to do is I just want you to breathe in peace. Exhale, blame. Blame for maybe what had happened in the past, things that you can't control any longer. I want you to breathe in love. Exhale shame. Not being shameful of anything in your past, being in the present moment. I want you to breathe in happiness. Exhale doubt and confusion and worry. Protect your peace. Find your peace. That's the power of meditation. Start to develop habits and behaviors that bring you closer to peace, to happiness, to joy, to relaxation. Things in this world that bring you comfort and joy. So, we like to say... And so it is. So you're joining me this morning here on Metaphysical Mocha Mondays with Mark here on Ohm Times Magazine. Thank you so much for being a spiritual prospector in search of your own spiritual gold as we head to the mountains and we talk about community is peace, competition is chaos. So this morning's message came to me. I was watching a, a fabulous um, documentary on Gaia. So if you guys know the, the Gaia channel, it's called I Am, and it was the director of... Um, um, oh shoot! I already lost the name. Um, the first movie with Jim Carrey. Maybe you guys can help me out here. Uh, but it, it's the he's a he's a well known director. Had lots of money and decided that he wasn't happy with having all this money and things didn't bring him happiness. And he wanted to find you know he asked himself in the in the documentary Ace Ventura. That's the name of the the movie. So he directed Ace Ventura. And it looks like we have a lot of people joining from all over. So good morning to all of you from Trinidad, from Ohio, from Idaho, from Washington State. Thank you so much for um, participating with me here this morning. And I've got some really good messages for you this morning. So stick around and then head over to the Intuitive Prospector page um, right after this for direct Q&A and readings with me. Um, I'll put the link in the field as soon as I am able to. Uh, but the movie was Ace Ventura. He's the director of... Um, Ace Ventura, and he went on and gave start to uh, Jim Carrey. And what I what I found interesting about this documentary on Gaia is um, that he wasn't happy with all of the the things, and he actually uh, asked himself, "What's wrong with the world, and how can I change?" So the documentary is called "I Am." And long story short, uh, just for the sake of you know, we only have a half hour here. Um, he ended up selling all of his stuff. He moved into a mobile home in Malibu and uh, teaches at Pepperdine University. And he's, uh, you know, all about consciousness and about being with people of like mind and community and finding, you know, what's wrong with the world. But he, but through that process, he also found what is right through the world. I see a lot of documentaries. About, I mean, the world is a violent place, no doubt about it, guys. I'm not, you know, I, I've been impacted by the, you know, tragedies and um, trauma big time in, in this world. But there is a lot of good out in this world. There's a lot of good people out in this world. And, and, and if you can find what's right with the world and get out into nature and find what's good in people, smile at a stranger, um, get into a community um, just like nature. Nature is all about community. And that's kind of what inspired me in my meditation this morning is to talk about community is peace. Competition, which we're, we're born and raised. I was born and raised to be in competition through sports, through um, being in banking, being in the Coast Guard, being in the fire service. It was all about competition. So you're going to have that in the world. But the only person you should ever be in competition with is yourself. That's where I have gotten in my spiritual path. I'm no longer in competition with anybody else except for myself. And I find community just like in nature, whether it's a herd of deer, whether it's a, a, a tribe of um, 
of insects all working together in community, whether it's a pod of orca whales working together. And I find that there's more peace and harmony in community than there is being individual and being um, com competitive in a chaotic world. So, you know, there's a lot of studies that they've done in nature about community and how important community is and how important it is to, you know, be in harmony, not only with your community, but also with nature. There's a, um, there's a quote from Einstein that really is, well, there's a few quotes that sticks with, you know, Einstein looked at nature a lot to see where mankind, where the human species fits into the world of nature. And right now, we're not fitting in very well with nature. Nature always works itself out. Nature always finds a balance. And us as humans, uh, with you know, whether it's religious, whether it's political, whether it's um, violence and crime, we're very out of balance because we're not finding our community. We're not coming back. And, you know, it's interesting here in Seattle, there's one community that's come together where they're actually talking to their neighbors. Imagine that, actually talking to your neighbor. Um, and I've tried this even with my neighbors on both sides of where I live. Um, one neighbor's friendly, the other neighbor could care less, doesn't want to talk to me. That's fine. Um, but I do that as a way to make sure that there's open channels, you know, not get into their lives and their details and, and be a, um, you know, um, you know, a busybody of na that kind of neighbor, but just making sure that things are, um, you know, open communications and peace. And one community here in Seattle is doing that and talking to people because it's actually lowering the crime rate. So they actually get to know their neighbors and they know if somebody's not of their neighborhood and they have a block watch that they can keep an eye out on crime and crime actually reduces. So, you know, it, it, it's important to have your community and when you find your community, you know, I think about um, folks that might be older in life and they move down to be in warm weather and, and move into smaller homes, smaller, the small house community is starting to really pop up. Uh, they move into mobile homes and live in community centers, community parks. And so it's kind of fun. We go through, we're all about community when we're young. But then we get into you know our, our early adult and want to be successful and keeping up with the Joneses and be competitive in this chaotic world. And then we end up getting back into getting older and decide that we want to be around a community, be with good friends, be with family, uh, and enjoy the simple things in life. So that is what I'm talking about today. Community is peace. Competition is chaos. The only person you should ever be in competition with is yourself because when you're in competition with others, it drives your mindset. It drives you to think differently. It, it drives your behaviors. It drives your words. It drives your actions. And through that, you think differently. So one of the quotes that I, I love from Einstein um, is he talks about look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better. So I've, I've always thought about that. What can we learn from nature? Nature uh, you know, is one of our uh, greatest uh, teachers. Uh, we can learn a lot from nature and so I've always been fascinated uh, fascinated with Einstein's because he did he looked a lot of his science uh, applications he looked at nature as a model he also says uh, you know another uh, um, quote from Einstein is he talks about we still do we still do not know one thousandth of one percent of what nature has revealed to us so if you think about that one thousandth of one percent um, that's not a lot of knowledge. So again, look deeper into nature and then you will understand everything better. And we still, don't, we still do not know what one thousandth of one percent of what nature has revealed to us. Um, very important, very, um, very priceless um, as you know, having that knowledge. So I love Einstein. I loved how he would look at the world of nature. And I want to give you some uh, messages today as well. So please, if you, uh, if you like the work we're doing here on Home Times Magazine, please share out to your page. Uh, please subscribe. We've got 70, uh, well, it, go, it goes between 70 to 85 um, spiritual prospectors looking for your own spiritual gold. So I thank you for joining me this morning. Um, and again, I started out with just a quick meditation on breathing in happiness, breathing in joy, exhaling worry, exhaling blame, exhaling shame. Uh, not carrying your past as a life sentence with you, not worrying about the future. You can plant seeds today, but finding your peace and joy in your, your community happens in the real time right now because that's all you're ever guaranteed is the present moment. So I um, wanted to get into uh, the crystals, the animal spirit, um, and number for this week. Um, the mantra for this week is just to um, let your words inspire and bring people together 
and get away from behaviors that actually creates competition. So I guess the mantra for this week is the only person I'm in competition with is myself. So you can say that a couple times. The only person I'm in competition with is myself. Because when you compete against other people, it creates drama, it creates worry, it creates stress, it creates chaos, it creates different thought patterns. Uh, it puts you trying to be in their world and live your life like theirs, and it's your life. So again, this week's mon mantra, find your community, find your soul tribe, and the only person I'm in competition with is myself. I found in doing the spiritual work, um, when I started down this journey after great tragedies in my life, my own near-death experience, the loss of many, many family members, um, it, it wasn't work that I wanted to do, and the one thing that was that I didn't really like in you know when you're in a spiritual path, when you're a spiritual worker, when you're a spiritual teacher, when you're a light worker, you think the whole world is going to come together and we're going to sing kumbaya and everybody is going to be great. But I found that other people in this field were very competitive, um, very mean. Uh, some of the you know some of the people in the spiritual world I thought would be very open-minded and very uh, loving and very um, accommodating and I, I just found, you know, in doing that, and, and so that's one thing that I always said as I started to grow my spiritual practice here in Seattle, that I would not be uh, a, a competitor with other people, that there's enough work as a medium, there's enough uh, people in the spirit world to talk to, there's enough healing to go around, and I would not be one of those people. And so that's just another form of competition becoming chaos, even in the spiritual path, even in the spiritual world, even as spiritual teachers. And I've seen it with some very well-known spiritual teachers. I won't get into name dropping of course uh, because that's not my path but that's just one thing that I said that I would never do is be in competition so even when I'm teaching a workshop whether whether it's my weekly spiritual development group over on Learn It Live there is no place for judgments opinions that are, are, are negative and of course no competition comparing yourself to somebody else because your path is unique you're, you're right where you need to be as we like to say so you know the spiritual community um, can really be a struggle for those that are just getting into this because you'll find that there is wicked competition in doing this and you've got to learn to live authentic find your own path and that's where the intuitive prospector my spiritual practice came to be and the only person I'm in competition is with myself period end of story okay so this week's crystal for you on your journey we're here every Monday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific 11 a.m. Eastern and then I'll switch over to the Intuitive Prospector page. The link is now in the description field, so just check down below to switch over and join me on the Intuitive Prospector page. And I can have a direct Q&A with you, answer your questions, see who's popping up, who's prospecting with me. Um, but this uh, week's um, crystal is the Peach Moonstone. And this is something that I actually have with me. And if you look closely, you can actually see it as I've had it. There's a person that actually has started to develop almost like a you know a, a portal if you will um, but it's a spiritual person and the uh, it's a peach moonstone so if you're interested in learning more about the peach stone this is something new that I'm doing with crystals uh, throughout the week the moonstone is it's the stone of new beginnings it is um, it, it's tied to the moon so the moon um, works on intuition it works on your psychic abilities so it's a good stone to wear something to have by your bed I have that because I dream exclusively every night and it actually enhances my dreams and helps me write down in my dream journal uh, but it also because the moon you know um, they like to say that the moon waxes and wanes and it creates the tides on on earth so there's a lot of motion of going back and forth um, this is a stone that will help bring you um, balance. So if, you know, and there's different colors. There's colors of white, there's cream. This one I have is yellow. There's actually, uh, there's blue. Um, you know, there's all sorts of, of different colors that you can um, uh, uh, work with. So it's easily obtained, so it's not a rare stone. Um, it's usually from, uh, uh, it comes out of Australia, it comes out of uh, Sri Lanka, and India is, is where it's uh, mostly um, manufactured. So um, again, it's, it's, the, it's the peach moonstone. I'll hold it up one more time so you can see it. And it's, its most powerful effect is to calm the emotions, just like um, the moon can, you know, can cause great chaos and tides based on its energy but the stone itself is for um, calming emotions and it really takes your unconsciousness and makes it conscious when you when you hold on to it whether you wear it you can wear it on a ring you can wear it in a, uh, as a necklace uh, it's really up to you it's also a healing stone for um, digestive and reproductive systems 
and um, it helps with uh, moving toxins and um, fluid retention out of the body. So that's the uh, peach moonstone. Again, there's many different uh, colors. There's the cream, there's the blue, there's the green. Um, I actually got this when I was in Asheville, North Carolina uh, a couple years ago um, from um, uh, another spiritual teacher that actually sells these and, and uh, it's, a, it's just a beautiful stone. So that's your stone for the week. And um, I'm going to give you your number now, your number for this week. And it was funny because I, I pull the cards, I shuffle them, I put my energy into them, I tie them to um, my uh, meditation. And the card that I pulled this week is the environment card. It's the number 44. So if you're seeing 44 a lot or the number 4, which is if you add 44 together, that is the 8 in numerology, which is in, it's my life path is, is a life path 8. So I think the card is actually definitely meant for me. Um, but it's also meant for you because it's environment. It's all about being part of our community as well. So when I pull this card and I pull the environment card, it's it's a green card, it's 44, so if you're seeing 44 just pay attention because that is also the infinity symbol of 8. It's, um, it's, uh, it's, it's all about educating yourself on the environment. So having awareness, having um, education about the environment, what's going on behind the scenes, you know it's about uh, honoring Mother Earth and because Mother Earth is a living, breathing entity, and we should recognize that, that we are privileged to be here. Again, nature is in balance with other um, communities, whether it's orcas, whether it's deer, whether it's ants, they're all in harmony. And then you have the human species not in harmony, completely in chaos, completely out of balance, completely out of tune. And we need to be humble or get humbled is the saying that I like to go with, because if we don't start to realize that it's a privilege to be here on Mother Earth and be a part of this journey, uh, the landlord can evict at any time. So make sure that you're in it. In the, it you, you can't change what's going on in the world at a, at a global scale, but what you can do is it can start with you, with your journey, smiling at a stranger, saying hello, talking to people. That's where you can make the change. That's where you can then get into a community or soul tribe of like-minded light workers, people that are not competitive, and make a change by doing the change within yourself. Gandhi talked about that. The change you want to see in the world starts with you, and I'm a big believer in that. So again, the number 44 is coming up for this week. That's your numerology um, number. So if you're seeing the numbers, it's also a big angel number. I'm not an angel um, expert, if you will, but I know that there's a lot of teachers out there that talk about the 44 being a very big angel number. So feel free to put a comment on the uh, description field down below if you know about the angels or if you're seeing 44, 444 come up in patterns. Uh, because it's also about the environment. It's an environment number. It's an environment card that I pulled up. And it's telling you, um, when you see this card, it's encouraging you to dig deep and look beyond the surface to question whether your personal political decisions um, is in the best interest of planet Earth and your community. So big question there. Are you being encouraged to dig deep, look beyond the surface, to question whether your personal and political decisions are in the best interest of planet Earth? And again, it's about awareness and education. And you can do everything from, you know, gardening. I started a garden. I'm trying to, you know, I don't, I practice what I preach, if you will. Um, I've started a garden. We have a huge garden that's producing. So be, living organically, uh, reducing how we use. I use a lot of, I drink out of a lot of glass bottles. I don't drink out of plastic bottles. I've changed my diet. You know, really trying to live the spiritual life and uh, lead by example. So you can get, um, there's a documentary also called Thrive. It's um, Thrive movement.com you can uh, check that out there's a lot of environmental um, but even just starting a garden um, I've joined a gardening page and you know finding the community of like mine on how to do things and how to garden because I don't know how to garden I'm learning this year so again dig deep see if what you're doing is impacting Mother Earth because it is a privilege to be here and Mother Earth who is the landlord can evict the tenants anytime and we need to realize that we're the tenants and we need to be mindful of that be humbled or get humbled okay Good stuff. Uh, what's the time here? We got about five more minutes. Want to give you your animal totem spirit animal for the week, which is the beaver. And you're like, what? The beaver? How's that work? It's all about doing your chores. Just like a beaver does its chores day in and day out. As we move into August, the last month of summer, it's a it's a time to relax and enjoy that last uh, month of summer as we move into the fall months can't believe it's already going to be uh, moving into the fall but it's also about the beaver getting prepared for the fall 
building the dam, gathering the food. It's all about doing your chores. So it's it's about purposefully mindful activity um, and not sitting with a lot of contemplation this week, but more of um, maybe having a plan, setting a goal, personal responsibility and action to do that and not having a lot of pro procrastination for this week. So if you're seeing the beaver, whether it's on TV, you actually see it out in nature, pretty cool. I haven't seen a beaver in a long time, but I have seen a beaver on my hikes. But if you see it in a magazine or you're, you're hearing it or you're hearing this message from the beaver um, as a spirit totem animal, um, do your chores. Just you know, make a list, check it off, do one item at a time. It's you know you you can't do everything all at once. So it's I I do lists. I put it on my calendar and check things off. I am gonna after this uh, video and after I do Q and A over on the Intuitive Prospector page with all the awesome spiritual prospectors. Uh, I've got chores that I've got to do. So do your chores. Um, do it with a, a happy heart. Um, be mindful of the work that you're doing and go out and have fun. Um, so want to just thank you for today. Um, thank you for being here as part of this community. The reason that I started this because I found that Monday mornings, most people did not like Monday mornings. And what better way to kick off your week with your soul tribe, with like-minded individuals. I like to say spiritual prospectors in search of their own spiritual goal because we're all looking for something different. But in the end, it's about community. Community is what's going to bring you peace. Competition is only going to bring you more chaos, and with that chaos becomes stress, worry, doubt, shame, blame, all the negative things that we don't want to be a part of because we're all in search of joy and happiness, and we find that in the daily activities of being in the present, uh, what I like to call soul adventures. So um, you can check out my closed page here on Facebook called Soul Adventures, Ask to Become a Spiritual Prospector. You can also join my Inspired Living Radio page uh, here on Facebook. And uh, you can post your questions every Wisdom Wednesday where we interact with our inspired listeners all around the world. You can actually call in live to our radio show as well. Uh, we're gonna, as we move into August, we're gonna have our hundredth show. So we've been doing it for almost two years. So it's a big, that's a big celebration uh, for us, and we're very happy to have been on the air, um, you know, broadcasting with, uh, you know, podcasts and and uh, you know, just inspiring the world. We like to say you are the ins you are the inspired and the inspiration. And uh, again, check out my classes over on the Ohm Times Institute page. The links are in the description field. Um, I'd be honored if you would, uh, you know. Uh, check out the video. Some of them cost. They're not too expensive. And you get a 10% discount if you use the code uh, in the description field of this video. So you're you're getting some uh, education, which leads us to knowledge. Knowledge leads us to wisdom. And wisdom eventually leads us to enlightenment. So I'm going to head over to the Intuitive Prospector page for direct Q&A and readings with me. So if you want to head over, the link is also in the comment section. And you can uh, just click on the Intuitive Prospector page. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, again, your mantra for this week is the only person I'm in competition with is myself. So have a great week, everybody. I'm going to just leave you with a little bit of music, a little bit of singing bowl. Have a great week. Smile at a stranger. Find community. And just, uh, just be friendly. And of course, as I always like to say, be kind, be caring, be compassionate. Namaste.